Hel hello. This picture you see right here is Mickey Mouse. We all know that. From his beginning. But let me just tell you that he was the star of the of the company, of course. But before the Walt Disney Company, they pretty much had other characters before Mickey. Mickey was not the first character Disney has ever made. Of course, there were the Alice comedies that appeared until 20, 1927. And then we had, uh, which I believe the actor, actress is still alive today, so I don't know. But a, hey, it's very fun to watch those and see them and all that. Anyways, Oswald came into play before Mickey, and he pretty much had a lot of well, as what Oswald said, he had the whole spotlight of himself. He would be in cartoons with either a rabbit girl, Pete who was also in from 1925 the star and the oldest character before Mickey and still recurring today not stolen but anyways let's get back on track Oswald was pretty much from 1927 to 19 the spring of 1928 when Walt wanted to renew his contract about getting better cartoons for Oswald but instead his distributor bought him out pretty much it's, he said, nope, not going to give you money. I stole your staff. You're gone. Well, then later, uh, Ub and Walt and, and his girlfriend and Walt's wife, Liz, Lily, sorry, and they went in a garage from Walt's house, and they constructed the very first cartoon, Playing Crazy. That's... Some people say that short was unfinished, but I say it is, because technically speaking, we're seeing the end at the end. So, uh, guys whoever, who have watched the cartoon and say it's not finished, I might want to go, Einstein's, I better want to go check that cartoon again, because it says the end at the end. Anyways, um, next is... His early phase. He started out really great. People liked him. Heck, he was a big star. And Oswald started the fade. Heck, he was the most popular thing that ever happened. He brought entertainment to the eyes of the people. Soon after, I think it was Jungle Rhythm. Of Iwerk stopped drawing Mickey. He stopped drawing and, and made his own shop and pretty much he came back in 1940. I don't know if he drew Mickey after that or something, but he did other things like camera stuff. If you want to learn more about this guy named Ub Iwerks, he's really interesting. Go um, check out the movie Oswald the Lucky Rabbit: The Adventures, The Adventures of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. I think you can you can still get it today. It's somewhere on the internet, or you can pro probably get it at your local Disney store if they ever have any. Michigan, I don't think we have any. Us up here, but hey, we're really cool. But anyways, let's get back on track. Um. So then Walt was worried about Mickey's success and all that, because after losing Ub, the guy who drew him so successfully, he's gone. So the animators were all touched, and, uh, well, Mickey still appeared in cartoons. Yep. He was still popular, and his first voice was before we go further into uh, Mickey Mouse's history, his first words were, hot dog. And the similarity about o Oswald and Mickey, they both like hot dogs. Just a little thing I want to throw out. But anyways, um, Mickey um, was 
challenged by other people like Felix the Cat and many other art people in the day. Now, the during um, the 50s, he started to get his own show called the Mickey Mouse Club because he was so famous. Awesome from the public eye, and this was the start of the year where Mickey was going to start to fade in the public eye. That's because the Walt Disney Park opened, California one, and Mickey started to during his absence, he started just appearing in the parks more often than on and on stage or something. But later in the 80s and 90s and the 70s, he started to reappear now. The public was all cheerful, like saying, finally, we got another Mickey Mouse. He, he has over 100 shorts that you can watch if you get the black and white movie, I believe it is, with all his shorts that Walt and Ub made and other people made that were from the Walt Disney Company, of course. Yep, the rest was history for Mickey. In 2010, he got, the, got to be an epic Mickey where he would be the first time seeing Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Now, just to the, for you Mickey fans, if you think I'm a Mickey fan, Technically, I'm more of an Oswald fan because I'm on Team Oswald, but hey, I like Mickey too, don't worry. Anyways, let's get back. So it turns out that game was pretty much about Mickey saving the wasteland from total destruction because of what he did. and That was really bad. I don't want to spoil the game. If you actually want to play the game, I suggest you go out to GameStop. Well... Probably can't get it on GameStop, probably. I don't know. But, hey, it's a really good game. I own it. And pretty much Mickey was learning history that he never got to learn. Because Mickey was so popular, he didn't know what happened before. Like, how, what became to him his success. It, so, pretty much, he was very shocked to hear about it. Then later, he d did appear in, a, he actually got a new short that came out, you can watch it on YouTube. It's called Get a Horse, it was from Frozen, and if you haven't watched Frozen, it, that short is still on there, so you can get it for free. That short for free on that disc, when you buy it. And, um... He was a very uh, clever mouse that I ever met. Yeah. And before I go, I want to say one thing, is that the one thing Walt wanted you to hear. I hope we never lose sight of one thing, that it all started with a mouse. <laughs>